Hi, it's Gareth here. How are you doing? I just want to share with you a story about prayer. And uh, quite a few years ago, um, I was living very comfortably in my hometown and uh, enjoying all that entails. And I just had this kind of disquiet um, that, I, that I felt like there was something something else. So, so I remember kneeling down on the end of my bed and uh, at the end of my bed and praying and, and saying, God, if, you know, if wherever you want to send me, just tell me whatever you want me to do, just let me know. And um, that's my, that's the first mistake is, is when we um, ask God and God can speak into our lives. And he um, told me or showed me where he wanted me to go. And initially I didn't really accept that. I'd lived in my hometown all my life. I was born there. I thought I was going to die there. Um, but God had asked me quite clearly through several ways that um, he wanted me to move to the Midlands. So I, um, after lots of confirmations of, of that's what God was saying to me, um, I decided to, uh, this, it's quite a big story, I haven't got time to go into everything, um, but after uh, meeting with some people in that area um, and uh, praying and feeling God was, was still encouraging me to follow through with what he had asked me, I sold everything, got rid of everything, um, and then I remember putting my um, flat up uh, for rent um, so I basically became homeless but on the same day I got an email uh, from someone in uh, the Midlands who had offered me a place to stay um, so I, I moved there and I stayed there for several months um, then I found some work just in the nick of time and got my own place and all that sort of thing but then I had I was living very close to uh, you know, um, I was not spending a lot, but I was not earning a lot. Um, obviously, moving to another area that I didn't know anyone um, or anything like that, it was um, quite difficult. And um, then my car broke down. So, like, that was a massive um, hit because I had to use my car to travel um, to where I was working and that sort of thing from where I was living. And... Um, I just remember being really stressed by that. So I kind of went for a walk by the canal. I was living by the canal in the Midlands um, in Burton-on-Trent. And um, I walked along by the canal and I said to God, you know, what are you, what are you doing? Um, why have you sent me here if I can't even afford to live? You know, surely you don't want me to be, um, you know, broken and, and, and that sort of thing <clears throat> so I really kind of meant meant business with God and really kind of maybe angry in some ways as well and, and upset and just thinking you know this is you know this is not working out maybe I heard wrong or something and that creeps in I guess in some ways but I prayed what I would say is I did pray earnestly to God in genuine meaning you know God like I really need your help this is not going right and um the, the amazing thing was I got home and I opened up my emails and um, I had an email telling me that a large sum of money had been put into my bank account. So I was like, what? Um, so obviously I checked and that sort of thing. And that put me into the green and, and sorted out my financial um, challenge at that time. Um, it was a miracle for, for sure. You know, I mean, I'm assuming that person had already thought about it before, whatever. Um, and, and that sorted out. So that was the immediate answer to prayer. And then actually from, from then on, you know, things started improving, um, found other pieces of work, youth work, that's my vocation, um, and ended up staying there for five years. And this hopefully encourages you that in um, the book of James, in chapter 5, it talks about the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. And the bit I like, I like those bits, but I like this bit as well, is 
Elijah was as human as we are and yet when he prayed earnestly that no rain would fall and you know just a reminder that, that Elijah was human as we are just as human as we are but yet when he prayed earnestly no rain would fall and, and just want to encourage you today if there's something you're thinking about something that you need prayer for something that seems you know there seems no way through or and although you know God has brought you to it you don't know if he's going to bring you through it but I can tell you God can bring you through it pray earnestly get to grips with prayer really wrestle with God um, like Jacob did really wrestle with God in prayer and speak to him and ask him and talk to him about what's going on and God has always come through he is a faithful God um, I know he doesn't seem like he seem like he is sometime perhaps but I can encourage you I've I, I'm a living proof of grace um, that God is able uh, to do mighty and amazing things uh, through our human lives um, not that I'm greater than anyone else that we're all human um, just like Elijah when he prayed earnestly it was very effective so be encouraged today in Jesus name amen